So throughout our daily lives, everyone has been affected some way by the pandemic. One thing that has impacted everyone would be our pocketbook, as the cost of practically everything has gone up, whether you're looking to buy food, buy clothes, looking for to purchase a car, or maybe even a house. The prices strictly just are not what they used to be before the pandemic. The city of Virginia Beach, Virginia is definitely not immune to that either. And if you're thinking about moving to the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia, you might be asking yourself, what are the cost of living associated with Virginia Beach, Virginia. Well, good news. That's exactly what I'm going to discuss in today's video as I'm going to go over the updated cost of living in the city. Also, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to include some costs I know you haven't even thought about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The city of Virginia Beach, like all the other cities throughout the country, has really seen prices increase coming out of the pandemic. When we're looking at cost of living, I'm gonna use an online resource called bestplaces.net. They have some indexes they show that compare the cost of living in the city of Virginia Beach to the state of Virginia, also to other cities throughout the country. This index is based on a 100 point scale. So anything over 100 means it's a little more expensive to live there. Anything under 100 means it's cheaper to live versus the national average. To give you an overall cost of living for the city of Virginia Beach, they're at a 103.3, and then the state of Virginia is at a 104.2. So as you can see, it is a little more expensive to live in the city of Virginia Beach compared to the national average. But what we're gonna do is dive in into each category that I think is really important when you're looking to move somewhere, and then we're gonna talk about some additional costs you hadn't thought of. So let's go ahead and get into my first one. So food costs is something you have to consider no matter where you live, because you always gotta eat. However, in the city of Virginia Beach, according to bestplaces.net, it's actually pretty reasonable to eat in Virginia Beach, Virginia, as it was given a 100.3 index for the cost of living on food. To give you an idea as far as grocery stores, Virginia Beach has a pretty well diverse offering on grocery stores. They have Food Lion, Aldi, Lidl, Wegmans, Harris Teeter, Kroger, your typical Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, BJ's. If you're in the military, you can shop at the commissaries. And then also just announced last week, the grocery store chain of Publix will be opening a new location next year in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So you got a lot of options to choose from for grocery. As far as restaurants go, the city of Virginia Beach has tons of different offerings. I'll just give you my favorite one. I really like seafood. So make sure you check out Captain George's. It's an all you can eat seafood buffet. You can't go wrong there. All right, moving along, the first cost I'm gonna talk about that you won't find on bestplaces.net is one that's very important if you have children, and that would be the cost of daycare. According to a recent article in our local newspaper, The Virginian Pilot, the cost of infant daycare has gone up 11% versus 2018, and infant daycare can cost as much as $13,000 a year. If you have a little bit older kids from toddlers and up, I see price ranges vary from between $200 a week all the way up to $350 a week for full-time care depending on what location you choose. So as you can see, daycare is gonna take a big chunk out of your pocketbook if you're moving to Virginia Beach or practically anywhere as the cost of kids is not cheap. Another important cost to consider would be the cost of healthcare. As far as bestplaces.net goes, it gave Virginia Beach, Virginia an index of a 105.2. So it is a little more expensive for healthcare in Virginia Beach compared to the national average. As far as hospitals go, we have a company called Centera that pretty much runs most of the hospitals in our area. There are a few other hospitals, but as far as the city of Virginia Beach goes, you have Centera Independence, Centera Princess Anne, and then Virginia Beach General, which is on First Colonial Road. That's also run by Centera. All right, my next cost that's not on bestplaces.net is more one that might not be for everybody, but it definitely is for me. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll understand why. I really enjoy going fishing. So you're gonna need a fishing and hunting license if you enjoy sportsman activities. I personally don't hunt, but I love going fishing. As far as a fishing license, for a freshwater license, it's $23 a year. If you wanna fish in the saltwater, which we have plenty of that around here as well, that's $17.50. And I advise you, you can get a combo pass, save a couple bucks, Bucks, that's $39 a year. As far as a hunting license, similar to the fishing freshwater license, it's $23 a year. There also is two and three year options as well. So I know this might not be for everybody, but me personally, that's something you gotta consider because there's great fishing here in Virginia. Okay, moving on. One thing about Virginia Beach, Virginia, in the summertime, it gets extremely hot. 
So my next cost is gonna be very important as you're gonna need power, as you're gonna to wanna to have that AC pumping all through the summer. Additionally, you just need to keep the lights on. So overall utilities, according to bestplaces.net, Virginia Beach, Virginia, great news, was a little cheaper as it was a 97.1. As far as the utility companies themselves, for power, you have Virginia Dominion Power. For natural gas, you have Virginia Natural Gas. As far as water goes, you have the Hampton Road Sanitation Department, which is HRSD. And then if you're looking for television options outside of streaming, you have Cox, Verizon. You also have DirecTV for satellite options. So there's many different things you can choose from there, but the good news, overall utilities in Virginia Beach are a little less than the national average. Growing up in Virginia Beach, one of the things I really enjoyed about the city was my time swimming at the rec center. The cool thing about Virginia Beach, Virginia is they have multiple rec centers throughout the city and they all have so many different activities you can take advantage of. So a cost you might not have thought about or even considered would be the cost of joining the rec center. For a Virginia Beach resident, the cost for an individual is $110 a year. And like I said, a lot of awesome activities happen at those rec centers. Some of them are extremely large, indoor swimming, great time for you and the family. I personally had a great time growing up as a kid. Me and my brother would spend a lot of time down at the rec center swimming and playing basketball. Heck, you can even go bowling in some of the locations. So I hope of the cost I've already gone over that they haven't totally scared you away. Okay. If you are considering it and want, don't know if it's the right fit for you, take a look at this video I did right here as I review the pros and cons of living in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. If you've gotten any value out of this video today, I'd greatly appreciate just hit that like button down below me. That way YouTube can get this video out to as many people as possible. I mentioned I grew up here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I've been a resident of the area for over 25 plus years. If you are thinking about making that move, I'm a realtor here in the area. I'd love to help you. My contact information is right down below me. And let's go ahead ahead and get into some of the other costs associated with living in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. All right, the next cost is one that you won't find on bestplaces.net, but I can tell you it's going to really impact how much money you bring home, and that would be taxes for living in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Overall state income tax in Virginia is between 2 and 5.75%, depending on many factors as far as how much money you make, how many children you have, and so forth. The overall sales tax in Virginia is 6%. And then another thing that's a little foreign to some people, outside of Virginia would just be the property taxes you have to pay in Virginia. But in Virginia Beach, Virginia, it's a little less than some of the other cities as you're going to pay $4 per $100 of value for any vehicle or boat that you possibly have. If you own a house, you're going to have to pay real estate taxes. Good news for you here, you can't get away from the taxes, but in Virginia Beach, Virginia, it is the lowest in all of Hampton Road. Currently in Virginia Beach, Virginia, you're going to pay 99 cents per $100 of assessed value. To give you an idea of what that equates to, if you have a $300,000 house, your annual property taxes will be $2,970 a year. So as I mentioned, it might not be in bestplaces.net, but taxes is something you're definitely gonna have to think about if you're coming to the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia, or any city in Hampton Roads. The next cost I'm gonna go over is actually a little cheaper in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and that would be the cost of transportation. According to bestplaces.net, it was given a 98 on the index scale. And I will tell you in Virginia Beach, Virginia, we do have bus service, but quite honestly, it's really not widely used across the city. So if you do have a car, one thing you're going to want to consider regardless of the cost is the traffic you might have to deal with going throughout the city. So take a look at some of my other videos I've done where we dive into that a little further. Hopefully you've been taking notes about some of these costs I'm going over and the next one will not be listed on any website if you're gonna look at for cost of living, but it is an important one. The city of Virginia Beach is well known for one major thing. It's actually in its name, the beach. The beach in Virginia Beach is incredible along the Atlantic Ocean. My family and I personally enjoy that many times throughout the year, especially during the summertime. However, if you're going down to the beach, you're gonna have to pay for parking. So to give you an idea, throughout most of the year, parking down in the Virginia Beach area, especially the oceanfront, is about $2 an hour. However, during peak summer seasons, they go up to a flat rate, which can range from anywhere from $15 to $22 a day for parking, depending on where you're at and what weekend it's at. And this doesn't matter if you're at the oceanfront or Sandbridge, you are gonna have to pay for parking if you're parking in the city parking lot. 
months. So one of the largest costs you're gonna have to consider would be the cost of housing. Unfortunately, in Virginia Beach, Virginia, the cost of housing is pretty expensive, whether you own or rent a house. As far as the index on bestplaces.net, Virginia Beach was given a 109.9, so much higher than the national average. To give you an idea, if you're thinking about purchasing a house, the median price in March of 2023 was 370,000, which was up 5% versus a year ago. One of the things that is really driving up prices in our area, regardless of the interest rate, is just the lack of inventory we have. As currently, we have almost about just a month of inventory on the market. And what that means, if there's no listings that came out within the next month, all the listings would be sold within that time. We'd like to see for a balanced market around four to six months of inventory. So that's one of the things that's really driving up prices in Virginia Beach. And the rental market in Virginia Beach, Virginia is just as crazy as a lot of people have been talking to me complaining about their rent going up, whether they're in an apartment or a single family home. So housing is definitely something you wanna look at because that's where the most of your money is gonna go throughout the year. As far as housing goes, you might be asking yourself, where should you live in Virginia Beach, Virginia? Well, reach out to me. My contact information is right down below. That way we can review the different areas throughout the city and what meets your needs the best. If you haven't decided whether Virginia Beach is right for you, take a look at the video I did right here on the pros and cons of living in the city. And until the next video, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.